Remember when I told you about never before seen Monster House deleted scenes? Well, there are more. I was at the park, swinging on one of the swings. At that moment, I saw a sealed package next to a fence. I jumped off of the swing to grab the sealed package, and wondered what it is. I waited for my mom to take me home so I can open it. When I got home, I opened up the package and it was a Monster House DVD in a CD case. It was labeled as, Monster House, for deleted scenes. There's more? I said to myself. There were more deleted scenes. I showed the DVD to my parents, and my mom approved me of a rare find, while my dad thought I could make money from discovering rare items. One afternoon, while I was home alone, I thought I should watch the deleted scenes on the newly discovered DVD. It then took me to the menu. There were four different deleted scenes. 1. DJ vs. Nebercracker, deleted version. 2. DJ's Nightmare, second deleted version. 3. Jenny gets possessed. 4. Nebercracker's spirit. Whoa, I spoke. I hit play all and the first deleted scene played. It started with DJ stepping on Nebercracker's lawn saying, all right, I'll do it. Chowder then pushes DJ further. I'll never forget this. Hurry though. DJ then ran towards Chowder's basketball, but as once he got close enough to it, Nebercracker opened his door and spots DJ. Ew. Nebercracker shouted, but in a deep voice. DJ was shocked that he was caught. Nebercracker ran towards DJ, letting out a growled roar, but he quickly evaded him and accidentally grinded his foot into a clod of dirt. What have you done? Nebercracker said, talking normally. At that moment, Nebercracker's eyes turned red with black pinpricks. DJ gasped in horror, he thought the old man he spied on was possessed. Oh my god, you're a... Uh, you're a demon. Nebercracker then said, with his voice now sounding demonic. You. Are. Dead. DJ screamed and ran for his life. However, Nebercracker then grabbed DJ by the arm, pulling him away from Chowder. Nebercracker looked more messed up, his skin was red and he was now sporting black, sharp horns. You think you can terrorize my lair? Nebercracker yelled, his voice still sounding distorted. No, it was an accident. I swear. DJ cried in fear. You wanna be possessed by Satan like me? Nebercracker asked angrily. No, I love my life. DJ answered in fear. My lawn is not a playground or a park. It is my property. Nebercracker said, still yelling in his face. I got it. I hear you. DJ replied. Nebercracker continued screaming. This is my house. Why can't you respect that? Why can't you just stay away from- As he was about to finish his sentence, Nebercracker started to suffer a cardiac arrest like in the final movie. It showed an uncomfortably close-up of Nebercracker's face from DJ's point of view. It was much worse with the red skin and black horns. He was even coughing up small patches of blood on DJ's face. As soon as Nebercracker died, he then returned to his normal state, collapsing onto DJ. DJ then began to shed a tear as Nebercracker's lifeless eyes stared into him, he was even sobbing quietly for a bit and there was a faint drop of blood near the corner of his nose. Then the deleted scene ended. What the hell did I just watch? I asked myself. I never expected to see something dark like this. Just then, the second deleted scene started. It started with a scene from the film's completed production, with DJ walking into his room after being sent there by his babysitter Z. He put his telescope away, closed his blinds and went to sleep. His room started to glow red. Just then, a voice whispered. Hey, come to Nebercracker's lawn. DJ woke up, hearing the mysterious voice. He got out of bed and quietly snuck out of his house. The whisper was coming from, no other than, his best friend Chowder. Chowder, what are you doing here? DJ asked. I'm just looking after Nebercracker's house since he is dead. Chowder replied. Chowder, this is a very bad idea. You mustn't look after somebody else's house even if they have died. Chowder rolled his eyes and said. Oh, you're just freaking out because you killed a man today. 
I'll dim down ditch the house and you'll see if we get caught. Chowder, no. DJ replied. Chowder then walked up towards the door and rang the doorbell. As seen in the final film, the house started coming to life, scaring Chowder. Just then, the house's carpet tongue snatched Chowder by the waist quickly. Chowder screamed as he was pulled in. No, Chowder! DJ shouted. The house then roared at DJ, preparing to eat him too. DJ had no other chance but to make a run for it. As he ran towards his house, the house then lashed its tongue onto DJ's ankle and pulled him in. DJ screamed the same way he did when the tongue yanked him in the air when he and his friends tried to escape. Then, it showed a shot of DJ and Chowder falling into a space of magma. As they were about to fall into the lava, it showed a final scene from the movie with DJ waking up in his room. This deleted scene soon ended. It wasn't too scary, but the fact of an unused scene of two miners falling into a sea of magma was just messed up. Just then, the third deleted scene started. The start was similar to the part where the trio found themselves in Nebercracker's basement. But this time, Chowder regained balance and accidentally sprayed DJ with his water gun. Chowder, it's me, DJ. DJ said irritated. Oh, sorry. Chowder apologized. Where's Jenny? DJ asked. I don't know. Jenny, where are you? Said Chowder. Jenny? Are you in here? At that moment, the boys heard somebody crying quietly. They shone their torches everywhere, following the sobs. Just then, the boys found Jenny, sitting and huddling, facing away. She was the one who was crying. Jenny cried realistically. DJ and Chowder exchanged glances, worrying for her. DJ asked. Jenny, what's wrong? Jenny spoke between her sobs, not bothering to face them. She, she took control of me. And her sobs started getting louder. Who? Who took control of you? Chowder asked. Jenny, still sobbing, pointed to a sign on a cage which read, Constance, the giantess. Chowder then stated. This woman must have possessed you. DJ approached Jenny to comfort her, reaching his hand out. Jenny, are... Are you... As soon as DJ put his hand on Jenny's shoulder, Jenny suddenly turned around and shouted in an adult woman's voice, similar to that of Constance's. Get out of my house! DJ and Chowder screamed. Jenny was possessed by Nebercracker's late wife. Jenny then talked normally, while under the control of Constance's spirit. Please, run! Jenny said, still crying, with realistic tears in her eyes. Spirit, go! Chowder shouted. He squirted his water gun at Jenny to try and save her from Constance. Jenny, under the control of Constance, then slowly approached towards the boys. DJ worried for Jenny, while Chowder continued squirting his water gun at Jenny until he shot it in her mouth. Just then, Constance's spirit then came out of Jenny's mouth. You see they have your triumph, but one day, you will pay. Constance angrily shouted. She then flew off into the shadows. Jenny fell to her knees and sobbed. DJ then embraced her to reassure her. Jenny, it's okay. She's gone now. We knew you didn't want to hurt us, you were under her control. DJ said, trying to give her comfort. Jenny was still crying, with more tears running down her face, as her face turned a bit red, and her eyes became bloodshot. She choked between her sobs as she spoke again. I, I can't believe that that happened to me. I could have kill killed you, or I would have been, been stuck with her spirit forever. She then finally stopped crying and wiped her tears away. The three kids then examined a cage they hadn't investigated yet. Just then, the deleted scene ended. Why? Why would that happen to a minor? I asked myself again. I carried on with the last deleted scene, which is Nebercracker's spirit. It started with a shot from the final film, where the kids had found Constance's body covered in cement. Just then, DJ then lost balance and accidentally cracked the nose with his nose, causing the entire body to desecrate. The house woke up, but something was different, a spirit then emerged out of the skeleton, and it was never Cracker. Chowder screamed. A ghost! You free! Get out of here! 
of my house! Member Cracker shouted in rage. DJ, Jenny and Chowder then ran out of the cage and made a run for the stairs that lead to the main corridor. As they were about to reach the door, Member Cracker's spirit grabbed DJ's arm, in a similar manner earlier in the film. No! Jenny cried. Chowder! Jenny! DJ screamed, as Member Cracker continued pulling him towards him. DJ! Chowder and Jenny called out. The two then ran towards DJ to save him, but then, they bumped into live inanimate objects each. Chowder was pulled into the air by coils. Killer Slinkies! Chowder screamed. And Jenny was attacked by pipes and was sucked into a larger one. DJ, help! Jenny yelled. DJ worried for his friends. He then reached for his water gun and squirted it on Never Cracker's spirit. Never Cracker groaned in despair. I'll get your kids out of my house next time. You'll see. Never Cracker angrily ranted. He then flew off into the shadows. DJ then ran to the stairs, whispering. Oh no. Just then, the deleted scene ended, and those were all the deleted scenes I watched. I was appalled by those deleted scenes, they were a lot worse than the first deleted scenes I saw. What the hell did I just watch? And who made those deleted scenes in the first place? And I thought the concept art for Monster House had a darker tone. But now I see the true definition of scary. I have seen weird crap before, but not like this. Be careful what you find and make sure to think before either you bring it home or watch a lost DVD you discover.